Hey everybody, welcome to NectarWineBlog.com. I'm your host, Josh Wade, and it's good to be back in the saddle again. It's been a few months since I've done a video. I've had a lot of things going on in my world, including the release of the new Spokane Wine Magazine, as well as just running the day-to-day uh, -day operations of Nectar Tasting Room. Tonight we're going to be downing six bottles of wine. Uh, they are these small bottles from a company that does the tasting room and they uh, manufacture some small samples so that wineries can uh, send these out as gift packs uh, as well as you know to wine reviewers such as myself. We're going to be reviewing some wine from the Wagner family of wines in California. Uh, some wines you're probably very familiar with, with the uh, Conundrum, as well as the Abella Gloss Pinot Noir, Maomi Pinot Noir. We have the uh, Mer Soleil uh, Silver, as well as the uh, Mer Soleil uh, Barrel Fermented Chardonnay, and of course the world famous Camus Cabernet. I've had a few of these wines before in the past and reviewed them on this blog, but these are all brand new vintages and I'm very excited about trying it. So mentioned that uh, these are these small um, tasting bottles uh, produced specifically just to uh, have some smaller quantities that can be sent out so that you can enjoy wine. Uh, you can find out about wines that you uh, may not want to spend $68 uh, for a full bottle on, um, so you can jump in and at least get the experience there. So this first one we're going to have is the Marisole Silver, and this is done fermented in um, concrete vats. It's a 2009 Chardonnay. All of these wines are produced in Southern California. Uh, color on this wine is, is fairly light. So the price point of 22, I'm getting a ton of more like apricot fruit, and it, it actually seems to be coming across that it, it, I would actually consider this to have some oak fermentation in it, but I know it's not. Let's give it a sip. Okay, so on the palate, it's actually really soft. It's a very nicely done Chardonnay. Um, comes across with just a touch of citrus fruit, some lemon extract on the back end. Has a nice acidic finish, causing my mouth to pucker a little bit. Uh, beautifully done, 22, one of the better Chardonnays that I've had in a while, and I'm not a huge Chardonnay lover, so I'm excited to see what adding a little bit of oak to the Chardonnay does to the wine. So let's move on to the barrel fermented uh, and oak aged Chardonnay from Marisolet as well. All right, so the second wine is the Marisolet barrel fermented Chardonnay, and this uh, spends just a, a hint of time in French oak from the Santa Lucia Highlands area. Uh, similar in color to the last one, just slightly more golden. Um, so that's coming through on the uh, the oak treatment. Let's give it a sip. Definitely a lot more butterscotch uh, aromas on this wine. You can tell that it's similar vineyards, similar grapes, and similar um, process, with the exception of the oak fermentation. But that butterscotch component comes through. Let's give it a sip. This is a divine Chardonnay. For those of you guys that like. Uh, um, oaked Chardonnay. It comes across only as moderately done. That butterscotch flavor really comes across in the mouth. It is super elegant and thick. And if you want a wine that has some uh, thickness to it and um, coats your entire mouth, this is going to be it. I prefer the finish on the silver. It has a lot more crispness and acidity and the minerality there. I think the minerality on this particular wine is covered over a little bit by the uh, oak uh, treatment. Comes in at $32, so on the higher end price point for a white wine for a lot of my readers, uh, but certainly something worth trying out, especially if you want to get a uh, pack that includes uh, these small sample sizes. The third wine is a very popular wine. I have a lot of readers that actually say they enjoy this. It's found uh, very wide, widely distributed. It is the uh, Conundrum. It's a blend of five different wine grapes. Um, I know you've got uh, Canale, Viognier, Chardonnay, um, and I would venture to guess probably some Riesling, but I'm going to do some research and put it in the notes down there. Yellowness uh, comes a little bit from the Chardonnay, but it's uh, slightly more of a watery yellow. Let's give it a sniff. Viognier, right on the nose, lychee fruit um, jumps out. The Canale is there uh, with the peach flavors and components. Um, I think it's going to be slightly sweet. I think it's made in an off-dry fashion, so um, tons of aroma, um, all of that 
tropical, uh, lychee, uh, pineapple, peach, those types of components in it. See what I said? Okay, so similar thickness to the uh, barrel fermented Chardonnay that it has. Sauvignon Blanc is one of the other grapes that's in this wine. I can tell just from the, some of the citrus components that come through and the tartness that's there. It's got a great balance between the different components. It tends to be a little Viognier heavy and Muscat heavy for, for my tastes. Um, a lot of, of our readers and watchers will love this wine because it has that touch of sweetness um, that you're going to be familiar with on the Viognier. At $22, Fantastic wine, certainly something you could pick up at the $18 price point in a lot of grocery stores. It would be a home run um, at a lot of dinner tables, especially around the holidays. People would really enjoy this wine, especially your non-wine. <laughs>